Wait, what? He's just gonna tell him? Wait, what? Aruma, what are you doing, dude? Yo, dudes, today we're checking out Aruma Kun Season 2, Episode 9. And our dude Aruma is back to normal. I am curious to see where we're gonna go in this episode with the good Aruma back on the scene. The last couple episodes with the bad boy Aruma was a lot of fun. I do hope he makes his return someday. But I'm very excited to jump into this episode, so let's jump into it. Who? Studying? Yo, my man got to study. <laughs> I'm guessing he never really studied in his in the human world because he never really went to school, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think you secured it all together, but yeah. It looks clean without all the locks on it, dude. It's all pristine and clean and luxurious. Why? Because they're stuck to each other? <laughs> I see. Didn't they like him when he was that way, though? Get off his rival, Clara. <laughs> True. What are you missing her climbing on you? She doesn't want to do it, dude. Oh, why are you trying to, like, dude? You know that ain't gonna work with Az, dude. True. You want to be a trouble for him? They're just worried about him, you know? They're his friend. So they have to take a test, right? <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> so you better get to studying, dude. Look at Clara in the background. She has, like, no idea. She's like, what? Yeah, well, you guys got yourself into this situation, so... <laughs> He's not prepared either. My man turning into a ghost. Ooh, they're back in the Magi app's place because it's reinstated. Cool, dude. I was gonna say, like, uh, she got probably bad scores. <laughs> she couldn't even get into the double digits, bro. <laughs> Alright, he doesn't know all that because he don't have powers of his own. <laughs> oh, go. Here we go, dude. Trying to act all smug. You didn't do much better, bro. What are you talking about, Clara? <laughs> That's her. That hurts, bro. That hurts. Instructor Clara. Mm -hmm. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna start suspecting him? You saw the future, what you at his side? He wants to help Aruma get to that to that demon king throne, dude. Makes sense. <laughs> Imagine they all get the Dalit. That'd be pretty cool, dude. Cool, 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 dude. This guy's back? Wait, what? That's the guy that did what messed up a Mary in episode one. Oh. Nah, because he wanted to keep... <laughs> what the... So keep an eye on him for me. Pushing your burdens off on the him. Have fun, Aruma. This guy's a little eccentric. <laughs> what? What? My man goes, my waifu's here. <laughs> right? They were having a moment between the three of them. Elegoth Chanel. All right, man. Four members now. Oh, what? Really? You can lose rank? <laughs> My man's trying not to get uh, demoted. This soul's leaving his body. Oh, has he not been eating? He looks very starved. Boom, boom. 
No, don't do that. Don't use favoritism and nepotism, please. That's right. It's cheating. Hmm. Opera has faith in him, dude. Oh, what, if he gets demoted, he's gonna lose his body? <laughs> Yo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna at least get the bare minimum. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a study group. Yeah. Dude, imagine they all rank up, dude. That'd be sick. <laughs> they don't want to go to the supplementary classes. That's why <laughs> they want to go on vacation, dude. Hey, man, that's a great motivator. And my man's working out instead. Are you? Oh, nice. Are those the different rank symbols on the books? Bay's above. So he's been around for a while. Okay, or well, his family at least. Ouroboros rule. It is correct. But Ouroboros eats his own tail, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Ask a millionaire or be, uh, become a millionaire over that show was, dude. Of course, we're using his lifelines. <laughs> like, he's supposed to know that. Oh, Jeopardy, bro. Hey, you didn't say what is five minutes. The little Kalego that fell over was adorable. What is with her, bro? <laughs> the tongue ripper? That sounds terrifying, dude. This is not looking good. That's not even half. <laughs> I love that his calic is all depressed as well. Mythical zoology? By Balam Shichiro? Is that... Wait, what? The book just... Zero. The zoology from the human world is similar to the zoology over here. Because <laughs> it's reminiscent of answers from his world. Basic questions in this book. That was interesting. Who's Balam Shichiro? I think he said his name was. A teacher? Oh, yeah? That <laughs> <laughs> made him slightly stupid. Oh, my goodness, bro. Is this where we're going to see the Balam dude? Oh, it's Dali Sensei. Okay. <laughs> it is Balam. That's the guy who wrote the book. Oh. Vines? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Clara always has fun no matter what. Did he just have chicken feet? The study of imaginary beast instructor Balam Shichiro. Let's begin our lesson. Oh, my man looks interesting. Oh, you're gonna give him a little history lesson? <laughs> what are these, like his vines or something? Look at Clara though. <laughs> I like this guy's voice actor. Oh, like humans? Kind of ironic he picked up a rumor there. <laughs> Why is he petting people, bro? Skin ship touchy feelies? Ooh. That's a little creepy. Oh, no. You got a tongue ripper right there, bro. <laughs> Imaginary, but I say, bro. So ironic that he picked up a, a rumor there for a minute. 
Eat him. Yo, poor Aruma, dude. He's a little creepy, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's a little creepy, dude. Oh. I wouldn't say the human world is peaceful. Oh! Nobody... <laughs> no, it's not gonna be fun, Clara. Nobody's really felt for Aruma's wings before, bro. Are they gonna find out he's a human, bro? Are they gonna find out? Ali san bro. Yeah. Let's go, Ali. <laughs> Can't fly with those tiny wings, dude. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. This dude doesn't believe it, does he? Oh, boy. Why is he taking his gas mask off? Oh, I see. I see. There it is. So he wears the mask to hide that. Gotcha. He was mutilated in the mouth, man. That that sucks. <laughs> but I think it kind of makes it a little scarier, dude. Alright, it looks like Balam Sensei's a good dude. Wow. He's probably kinder than all the other teachers. Hmm. Wow. He even the score with the Ruma there, dude. <laughs> Look at the tiny ass cup. What is up? I guess because he's so big. Yeah, because he's so big, dude. Yeah, like he's so considerate and like so concerned for people. It's pretty interesting. Wait, what? He's just going to tell him? Wait, what? He just subconsciously said it? Aruma, what are you doing, dude? I don't think Balam's gonna do anything evil, though. Oh, we're getting some characterization for Balam, dude. Little teddy bears, now it's little birds. Oh, when he got older. Well, this is his interest, man. Dude. Yes, he did. Lying is bad. Coming from a demon, bro. He's cool with it. Because he likes imaginary beasts. Show no, he's not. <laughs> no. He can't believe an imaginary beast that he studied his whole life is standing in front of him. Oh, he's scared of the human, dude. <laughs> no, I think he means wanting to research you. This is like a dream to him, bro. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh, he's like an endangered species. I mean, because they don't think they exist, dude. Well, that's creepy, bro. <laughs> I was not expecting this, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Except for a Mary. He just doesn't know that a Mary... Well, no. I guess he realizes the Mary knows. Too naive, bro. Now he's getting scary. Oh, my goodness. At least he didn't get eaten, bro. <laughs> he's a good dude, man. I hope we get to see more of Balam Sensei. I have a feeling this is going to be like his arc or something. Oh, that's right. They're supposed to be studying. But they are studying. <laughs> There's a lot of them, bro. Smart. There's a lot more morons smart, dude. Of course you will, Asmodeus. <laughs> oh, of course they all have plans, dude. Look at Sabro. Vampire's Mansion, huh? So there are vampires in the demon world then. And his 
mother is the lord of seduction so is it is he an incubi or is he a vampire i wonder because vampires seduce as well because we don't know his bloodline ability <laughs> you gotta take some time for yourself this summer vacation bro oh that'd be cool that'd be cool dude Silence. Oh, that's true. They, they have to pass or they go to the uh, cram school or whatever. They always get caught. I wonder why. He doesn't know. Okay. Oh, boy. This man is stalking Aruma. Look at Clara because Clara loves this guy. Clara likes everybody, bro. Oh, how's this going to work out? Dude, Balam is big, and isn't Kalego pretty tall too, though? So Balam's even bigger, bro. Oh, they cool with each other. Okay. Kalego kun. Well, there are teachers. They were classmates together. Yo, I want a backstory on them, dude. Did they go to the school when the previous Demon King went to the school? Or was the Demon King older when they went to school? Maybe the Demon King went went solely and Belial and what and stuff went to school. I really want to get some flashbacks, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I was like, they... <laughs> My man, you gotta stop. He's He's been hiding his identity for two seasons now. <laughs> Season and a half. Oh, what's he gonna make him? The magical siblings. Remember, he likes picture books, so it makes sense that he's doing this. Bloodline magic. So we're getting a rundown on different type of magics. Verbal, mental, and bloodline. So does not everybody have a bloodline ability? I thought Asmodeus would have one too. Sixty-six, <laughs> six beasts. Because <laughs> you're scary, bro. They're judging you by the cover, which isn't good. Yo, he's going to school him and he's going to be able to pass the test. Andres. Didn't we see him earlier? I'm pretty sure we saw him at the meeting, the 13 crowns or no? Hmm. I like that they show a Mary every once in a while, even if she doesn't have a big part in the episode. She's rooting our boy on, you know? <laughs> even Sabro's getting into it. Let's go, dude. <laughs> My man's crying at the picture book, dude. In the history of torture? My goodness. Updating. <laughs> You're growing, Aruma. <laughs> the second book to the torture series? You're gonna cry at that one, too? Ooh, let's go, Aruma. Yeah, by 5%. No, you don't want to stand out too much. <laughs> nice. Nice, bro. They got study material. Let's go, dude. A man comes over with the table. This poor kid, man, never got to experience anything in his other in his, in the other world. <laughs> Maybe I'm really smart. He's on a studying high. Part two. <laughs> he may be knocked down a few pegs, right? Time for the test. Bro, did they pass or did they fail? <laughs> you better get yourself prepared there, Jazz. 
Supplementary classes, yeah, cram school. <laughs> yeah, you can't prolong the inevitable. Oh boy, is he setting them up right now, bro? He's upset that it more didn't fail. Yeah, he's upset, bro. He wanted them. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Nice. Nice. Oh. Damn, okay. Oh, really? I mean, it probably did, but like, give them some credit too, bro. Yeah, that's why he's meant to be the Demon King, bro. <laughs> Is our dude gonna rank up? Was it Ruma? You got an 81, dude. Damn, no new rank? What? Why is he leaving? What's he gonna go to Balam Sensei or something? I like that him and Balam are, are forming a, a bond, you know? Wait, is that Balam Sensei? Did he cut his hair? <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, he knows. He learned, bro. He even influenced Balam Sensei, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's your fault, Aruma. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good thing. That's that human side of him, bro. Oh. That's right. They're outdoing all you. They're outdoing you, man. He's laughing at him. Yo, easy, Kalego. Oh. Guardian White Raven. So they're both cats. They're eights. Buzzer? Falsehood? Oh, and that's why he was saying that Aruma is not lying and that his words go straight to the heart. But I thought his bloodline was feelers, unless that was just an ability he had. Is he talking about Aruma? <laughs> Yo, leave this man alone, Kalego. I think it looks good, bro. You proud of Aruma? Yes, sir. Very cool. Girls talk? Is this gonna involve Eiko and a Mary? Maybe Clara? Oh, she's setting the mood for her and Aruma, dude. Yo, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, boy. Yo, Clara's so hype, bro. <laughs> A.K.A. the Demdoll Karo uh, Karomu. <laughs> oh, do they have girl talk uh, sometimes, those three? And they just invited her this time? They're going to like the tea that was for Aruma? Just soap? You're not supposed to use soap on your hair, dude. <laughs> soap? Can we see what Clara will look like if she starts using shampoo? <laughs> Those are things Clara doesn't worry about, you know? Oh, the one when he was a roomie! <laughs> Yo! Oh no, it's Karomu's. Okay. Because he sung it, though. He sang it. Imagine they figured it out right now that he was a Rumi. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Who do you like? <laughs> Where did these lights come from? Yeah, I knew that shit. What she wanted to do, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I ship bananas. <laughs> Yo. Of course she is, dude. 
It just hits you? I know she doesn't act like one, but... And plus, he was trying to seduce a rumor early. She just didn't see that. It's more platonic, though. They're like brother and sister, you know? But his heart did go badump. <laughs> oh, boy. Do they all have crushes on Aruma? Of course, two of them have crushes on Aru Arumin. <laughs> Oh, no way, dude. Don't get the wrong idea about Aruma. Don't base your life off of the manga, dude. I guess because, like, everybody loves the student council president, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. That's true. She is always climbing Sabro. You starting to get the idea there, Mary, that she doesn't have romantic feelings for Aruma? <laughs> Never thought about that before. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo, Mary's like, this is too much. What, are you gonna ask her that straight out, dude? <laughs> of course. Of course there's a child in child involved, bro. I don't think the father would like that too much. Oh, that's the side effects of that? Okay. <laughs> They're all relaxed now, bro. Yo. Is he gonna become friends with them and hang out more? That'd be pretty cool to see. Ami-chan? Ready? <laughs> Nice, dude. That's this is cool to see, bro. Just them hanging out, you know? And a Mary getting to spend time with them, too. Uh oh. Considering he was the topic for a lot of it. <laughs> Aruma, you're gonna learn, dude. You're gonna learn, dude. Sullivan? My man's happy. He gets a break, doesn't he? I guess all the faculty would be on break as well, you know? What is he? What does Opera want, man? Kalego Sensei's home visit? What's he gonna like visit all the students or something? And why would you choose Kalego to do that? Robin. Does that mean the other teachers have to go to the other students' classes or homes? You're gonna find out why Clara is the way she is. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I love the contrast between these two, bro. <laughs> of course, Asmodeus' house first. Yeah, she might seduce Kalego, bro. <laughs> the little sister? Oh, he has two little siblings. Okay. Violet and Lily. We didn't know that. They look up the big bro, dude. Of course. <laughs> they don't like Aruma. <laughs> you don't say that to your two little sisters, bro. Kalego, do you see the issue here? You need to get him to back off Aruma a little bit. <laughs> Did my man always not have pupils? <laughs> I mean, he, since he got suplexed. Exactly. I hope so too, man. That's what I've been saying. He needs to back off Aruma a little bit, you know? Yeah, well. Well, it's gonna take even longer here, bro. Oh, boy. <laughs> bro, are they gonna pull him into a song and dance? Yo, he did not. My man's like, nope. 
Oh boy. He is getting pulled into a song and dance. Oh, he has an older brother? Yeah, we do see him collect cacti before. Bro, every time they're on screen, it turns into like Fraggle Rock and shit, dude. <laughs> Poor Kalego. Is this the brother that... It is! That's the brother we haven't seen before. The only one we're missing now is the father, right? Eldest brother. Bro, he's so much different than the rest of the family, dude. <laughs> Kalego's like, what? <laughs> Once in a blue moon. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. They don't even know what consider it means, bro. Two hours later. So he now has spent three hours. He got all kinds of goodies, bro. Oh, Garp Dojo? Oh, dude! Oh, my man is huge! Ah, his little bro. Jax's brother looks pretty cool. <laughs> Yo. Jazz already stole from him once, bro. Oh, wait, what? what, what? His sister? What is happening? That plant was posing, bro. Of course, they're all sleeping. <laughs> oh. So a room is probably the last one, right? My man got my game got a boken. He got a wooden stick, a wooden sword, bro. Well, Sullivan's gonna be there, right? So maybe we're gonna see him interact with Opera. He could have just summoned Kalego, but then he would be the little bird, though, and that'd be a problem, right? <laughs> oh. That's why, dude. Senpai? So that's why this was set up. Yeah, but he was the senpai and Kalego was the kohai. We've never seen Kalego this way, bro. Yo. He's always been strict, dude. Damn, 13 people? <laughs> A shadow leader? Cut down the 666? Hmm. So Kalego made a name for himself while he was at this school. Balam, dude! Remember, they were like, they were friends, or they are friends. So these are the, the only person he got along with at school, I guess. Black unkempt hair, two horns. Ooh, is it Opera? Opera has red hair, though. Oh, there was no student council. Damn, Opera messed all them up? Yo. Younger Opera looking menacing, dude. Those aren't horns, though. Those are cat ears. <laughs> I like Opera better with the black hair, man. Look at, look at them, dude. So you're telling me Opera bullied Kalego. <laughs> you gotta take off the chairman gloves and put on the parents' gloves. Yo, poor Kalego. Of course, he's your teacher. <laughs> you're not supposed to let them see that, man. He did. He really, I mean, he cares about his students. Kalego might be a strict teacher, but he does care about his students, dude. Otherwise, he wouldn't be working at that school. True. Otherwise, you're gonna hurt yourself in the future, dude. There's been little moments where Kalego has given Aruma advice, you know? But this one was really cool to see. 
Wow, and he said thank you too. Different side of Sullivan that he's seeing. <laughs> why would he spend the night? And why does he have... <laughs> oh, bro. Of course, it's a pink shirt for him to wear. <laughs> oh, boy. Opera always causing trouble, and, he, and they seem to like to bully Kalego, dude. Poor Kalego. <laughs> but he cares about his students. <laughs> Yo, I love Kalego, bro. He is spiteful. So that's gonna be next episode, I guess, right? They're supposed to go to a water park. <laughs> oh, the whole class, dude. The water park. <laughs> what the heck is that? Fit right in, dude. Yeah. Having a better life here than in the human world. Wait, what? What incident? 